we have here the Morris Suicide 2. This is a shower tent by King Camp. I have already had it out of the bag, and as you can see, I got it all back in the bag. I like King Camp's compression bags. So I'm just going to show you how to set this thing up. So I may not be speaking a whole lot. This is a dual room shower tank. So you have your main tent, you have your rain fly, and you have your poles, and you have your tent stakes and cordage. And I was surprised because I didn't know that it came with it, but I also received a shower bag that you put in the sun to let it heat the water up and uh, you hang it in the shower for showers and I'll show you that later. Yeah, this is your cordage and your stakes. So first off, let's roll out the the tent. Now, if you paid attention to our other channels, you know we've been using the Wolfwise pop-up shower tent, and we had another one, uh, a green one. I think it was Wolfwise too. But you just basically throw those out, and they set up, and uh, really easy to set up and tear down. And we've used that one for over three years, and it's still in good shape. But we want to try something a little bit different and something with more room. Now I've used King Camp product before and they've been made really well. So this is the top of the tent. first rods we're going to get are going to be the smaller in diameter, kind of pop together rods. We have one, two, three, four lengths, there's two of those. Four lengths. door here. So this is going to be like most tents and you're going to use cross action here. It's going to form an X when you go through these loops of material. I'm going to go ahead and go through this very top tab because if you hang a shower bag in this tent, you need as much support as you can get. So we go through that loop. ahead and what I do with the other here it is we're gonna slide this other one through the other one forming our X
pretty warm out here today. Again, we're going to go through this center loop. Don't forget to go through your center loop. And then through this other sleeve. smaller rods. Now I want to show you the difference here. You're going to have two that has these skinny ends. These are for the outside. These are fat ends. This is going to be for the middle. like so and I did not put this one through that center loop now what we need to do is go ahead and put our end caps on I'll be sure that these straps are not twisted just pop that on that one I'll go ahead and pop The other end here. Probably should have done the other one first. We're gonna put we're gonna some dirt on. That on there. And then we do the same here. Bend this up a little bit. Push it that way. I think I'm hung up over here. brings it all together. This is what your top looks like. Now we're going to put our legs in. Actually, we're not. Yes, we will. i tell you what. Before we put our legs in, let's go ahead and put these little side pieces in. And they're just going to slide in these holes. Pretty good snug fit. Just like that. We have another one. It's going to go on this end. In that hole. In this hole. Now, we're going to put the legs in. You're going to have four of these poles. One, two, three, four. That's four sections long. These are your corner legs. One, two, three, four. 
right, we're gonna go ahead and install these clips. Just gonna clip on there. This one clip on down further. And then the end just slides over these. It may be easier slide down on first. Because it's pretty tight. So that is your center pole. I'm glad I made that mistake. So if y'all are having issues with the pole, this one's shorter, so this is the end pole. Now it won't be so hard. I think that was easier. And then we can clip the clips. Let's go ahead and put these other ends on. Pretty sure that's a short one. We need to color put a little spray paint on these so we can mark the two center ones. Same thing here. We're just going to put it in here. Put them in the middle one. Okay, we're just going to get it away from the camper a little bit. In fact, let's do the, the back one first. That way, it'll lean that way. It is windy today, y'all. Very windy We'll put the center in. Just like that. Get burned out of y'all's way. Go ahead and put this in.
wonder if I shouldn't have put that top in here. put the back one on. We're almost So, if I was setting this up from the pop-up, I would flip it around to where the door is facing the pop-up because, in fact I will, because the hose that comes on the pop-up is probably back here. And I need to feed it through the door into the shire side. So I'm going to flip it around. show y'all how that turned out in a little bit. First let's get this sucker nailed in before the wind blows it. I got a mail delivery, I'll be back. Alright, that tent was so big. Gotta move y'all back a little bit. That ought to be better. Now we got it staked in the ground. What we want to do now is tie off the middle. Try to keep this all tangled up. Should be four. Okay, this one is for the rain fly. This one is to latch it to the ground.
Just hooking the velcros around the poles. It's together pretty, pretty nice. grab y'all all right you can see the back side here have a back window now as you can see our shower on the pop-up is right here so if we're going to use that we need to run our hose down through the door 
and then into the shower room. And all I want or need is enough room to walk to get into here. This is all about privacy. So this is your first room. You can see there's a pocket. There's your window. This is a solid floor. Up high you have a hook to hang stuff right here. You have a towel strap or a washcloth or whatever you want to put up there. You have a door dividing the center with a window. Now one thing you want to notice down here is there's Velcro on this and this is to keep the water from coming to this side of the tent. So you want to Velcro that up to that. So that's velcroed up and that's velcroed up but still you want to be careful not to step on it and flatten it the door zips down that far the nice zipper pulls now you're into the shower room you can see that there is netting around the edges so water can flow out and air can circulate you have another pocket for your shampoo and soap and stuff this is a netting so the water can drain you have a hook for your shower nozzle you have another towel rod or strap you have another window you have a way to roll the windows up if you want to Up here, you have where you would hang your shower bag. Lots of room so you can shower off on this side over here. Keep all your wet stuff over there. You can set your porta potty over in this side to where you can also sit on it to change clothes and stuff like that. I say the wind is blowing really hard right now and this thing seems pretty sturdy. The King Camp, Maramusel, Mar Marasusa, however you pronounce that. Now let me go get the uh, shower bag and show that to you. This is the shower bag that came with it the solar shower you can see here that you have temperatures it's been in the sun and it says 92 98's lit up just a short amount of time it's been in the sun but you have your that's where you fill it it has a strap that you hang it with let me get this this is the shower nozzle that it came with and this is heavy, that's uh, 220 liters, but that's pretty heavy. That's why I was telling you when you put the tent together to be sure to get that strap through the center section of the cross section on the top so it'll support the weight. Now if it's gonna carry that in there and hang it, and then I'll show it to you. As I've got the shower bag hanging in there. Now I'm not playing around. I filled that thing all the way up, so it's heavy. I don't think the tent liked it that much. Well, it's filled up to here. Now, I wouldn't put no more than that in there. Yeah. Okay. So here you have it. It hangs on those two straps and two hooks up there. And that's why I was telling be sure you get these straps over these center supports. Might have been room for all three supports to go up there. That center one's not going to support that much though. And then you can just hang it just like I got it there. And then you should be able to just squeeze this and I'm not sure how this is going to work. But 
that's not coming out very good. I wonder if we need air. So let's loosen this cap. And see if it helps any. We ain't getting nothing there. I must be missing something somewhere. Okay, I think I... So it don't look like the bag is hung high enough. So you'd have to sit down. Yeah, it's... The bag's not high enough. If it's down, that's what you're gonna get right there. If you're low, blow the bag. Now, if I'm doing something wrong, y'all let me know. I see no way to hang it higher, so you'd have to sit down to be able to use that in here. I'm not impressed so far with this part of it. It is a cool idea, and it has a place to hang your nozzle but like I said if you wanted to take a shower you're going to have to get down pretty low to hose off so maybe you put the porta potty in this end sit on it to take a shower but for the pop-up. I'll show you how I'll set it up. Alright guys, I've got the porta potty in this end now and I've hooked up to our shower from the pop-up and it would have been nice if there was a pass-through on that side but there's not. So you have to go through the door which is fine because you can still zip this outer door All the way to the hose. And then the store here doesn't zip on the bottom. So let's go into the shower. If you don't even have to zip this door if you don't want, but it's, if you want more privacy, you can zip this store too. And you see that hose is through there. And then you can hook that hose over here or you can hook it up there let's see what it looks like over here it twist if, 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 if it would be nice if it would stay like that Okay, so I, I got it to hang like that. Now, it's got a hook over here in the corner for it, and it also has Velcro tie to hold the hose back. And it reaches over there, but I couldn't get it to stay to where if you wanted to do hands-free. And I'm gonna try to turn this on Probably from the other side. And I just messed it up. That door may have been. There it goes. See if I can do it like this. Now on this particular one, it's just a flip switch right there. And you pull it down. I think or... there you go getting wet so there you go hands free let me go outside So here you go with the look of it from outside. 
Now that's perfect. And it's the water's blowing away from this door, so hopefully that'll keep this in a little bit drier. You can see I've already got water in it from messing around with it. It is running this way, so I must be downhill. I need to try to tighten that up. But that's a shower. That's a good shower. <laughs> 